In this video, I'm going to be showing you step-by-step -step how to use Folk CRM. So Folk CRM is a pretty unique CRM that looks very much like Notion. So if you have experience with Notion, then it will look very familiar for you. But if not, then this video will still be helpful and I'll show you how you can use it as a CRM for your business. Now first, I'll leave a link to them down in the description. And by clicking on that link, it will just take you to their website where you can click try for free. Now, after clicking try for free, you can continue with Google or email. And then after doing that, you will get to the onboarding. So the first step is to just go through the onboarding. So let's customize your CRM. Just enter some basic details about your company and then click next. Then what brings you to folk? So for me, I'll say sell more. Now connect your email to sync your leads. So you can connect with Gmail or Outlook, or you can also use copy and paste. But the recommended thing to do is to go and connect your email. So you can give it access to everything that you want. So go and click select all and you can see what exactly it can do. Then click continue. And then they are getting your contact data. Now you can also add more accounts if you want. And then once you click next, you can prospect faster with their Chrome extension. Now I'm not going to go into that in this video, but it can be helpful to import contacts from LinkedIn and almost anywhere else on the web with their Chrome extension. So by signing up through the link down in the description and following the steps I showed you, you will get a 14 day free trial on the premium plan. So go and click start free trial and you don't even need to enter any payment details. Now from there, you will get to the actual CRM. Now from there, the first step is to add your first leads. If you're currently using another CRM, such as Pipedrive or HubSpot, you can click choose an import and then import from another CRM. You can also import from an integration such as Zapier, Make or Typeform or another one, or you can import from a file. You can also create a sample. So start with 10 sample contacts. That's what I'll do. So here it now creates 10 sample contacts and puts them into a sales pipeline. So again, if you have used or are using Notion, you will find that this looks very familiar, especially with the groups here in the left, where you can really easily switch. And if you click on the downward arrow, you will see everything that is in this group. So this one right here is the sales pipeline, which they have created automatically, where, for example, if you go to the actual pipeline, you have no status, qualified, to contact, contacted, etc. And it's just a very straightforward and easy to use CRM. So in the sales pipeline, you can just click add people and then you can go and create a person or from here, they have imported everyone from your email. So everyone that you have had contact with and you can then click on them and then go and click on create person. They can enter any other details about them that you want and you can now see they have been added right here. Now, if you want to add some kind of a note either for yourself or your team members, then you can click on the contact you want to add the note for and then go to team interactions and then click new interaction. And then here you can add an event and add the description. You can also click notes and here you can write more general notes. So the interaction is, for example, if you call them and spoke to them, they can say what exactly you spoke about. Now, once you click on a contact, you can see all of the fields that you have. Now, if you click new fields, you can also add a different field, for example, a number such as the deal value, or you can add a member to it so that you can assign another member to a contact. And if you do want to go and invite your team members, that's quite simple. What you want to go and do is click on share. And then here you can see invite to collaborate, then just type a name or email and click invite. You can also copy the link and share it with your team members and then they will also be able to join. Now, if you go to settings and members right here, you can also invite members from there. Now, a pretty cool feature as well in settings is the AI follow-ups. So basically you can turn this on to suggest follow-ups. So enable daily suggestions for follow-ups and personalized replies using your inbox calendar and CRM data. In terms of integrations, you can see they have quite a few integrations such as Apollo, Make, Zapier, and for example, through Zapier, you can integrate with another 6,000 apps. 
So basically to use it as a CRM, what I would personally use most is just the general sales pipeline, all prospects and all people, as well as all companies right here. So just add any potential leads right here and enter which stage of the pipeline they're in. And you can just drag them over like this. For example, this one, let's say they're qualified, they can enter them right there. And then also for the notes to basically keep track of every single client. Even if they are already a client and not only a lead, then you can also create a separate board, which you can do by clicking on new group. And then after that, a new view, for example, for your clients, where you can also talk with your team, kind of replacing, for example, Slack. Now you also have a unified notification center. So if you click on that, you can see any messages or notes or updates to specific leads or clients. If you go to dashboards, which is a new feature, you can also get insights with dashboards such as charts which again is very similar to Notion. So you can click new dashboard and then a report about whatever you want to create a report about and a report on people or companies and then click create dashboard. And then from there you can see the generated revenue conversion rate. Now I haven't set this up yet, but you can go and do that. In terms of the pricing plans, you can see if you pay yearly, you will get a 20% discount and you pay per member per month. So if you want to pay monthly, then the standard plan will cost you $25 per member per month. And you can see what is included in that. Now, what you also want to do from within your settings is go to senders and go and set up a sending email account that you can use to send emails. So you just click new sender, then you can do a Gmail sender or a custom sender and just going to set that up as well. Now, finally, in messages right here, you can see all of your sent messages. You can see your drafts and most importantly, I think our templates. So you can go and create templates, which basically is helpful if you send these same emails or kind of the same emails over and over again. So just create a new template then give it a name and create a template for a specific group or multiple groups and then click create. And then here you can set the subject and then also what you can do is click on slash to add a name. So for example, first name. And then if you write hi, first name, and the first name will be entered automatically from your contact details. So this is also something that can help you save a lot of time in client outreach. So that's a basic overview of how you can get started using Folk CRM. Now in the bottom right, you will often have messages like this from their team members, and that can also help you out because they are basically tips from them. So that concludes this Folk CRM tutorial. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. And again, I'll leave a link to Folk CRM down in the description where you can get started with your free trial. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.